Uh, in this video, we have a convolution example where we have an input x of t and an impulse response h of t and we are asked to perform the convolution so that we can find the output response that is y of t. So here in the input x of t is e to the power minus t unit step function that is u t minus 1. So this is basically this function which is starting at 1 because of t minus 1 there is a delay right and then it has some sort of this shape. In the meanwhile we also have an impulse response h of t and this is simply uh, again starting at point 1 but it is moving towards right with a magnitude of 2 right so these are the two functions that we need to convolve so it depends which one you want to flip and which one you want to retain right eventually what we need is we need an output y of t that is in terms of a convolution integral from minus infinity to infinity so I'm going to keep this as is so x of tau but I would flip impulse response h of t because it is much simpler so so we have h of t minus tau d tau now this h of t minus tau would mean that h of minus tau would simply be an inversion of this signal so that is from plus one now we would have a minus one so this signal was moving towards right so now it is towards left right but again we have a t here so we are adding with t so here we would be adding with t as well this is t minus one and then it is going until minus infinity so right now we have two cases the first case x of tau and that was starting from one and going downward like this exponentially and then there's this t minus one but this t minus one is less than this value one so in case one we are saying that this terminal value is less than this value one so in this case there would be no overlap between these two signals and if there are there is no overlap so that would mean that y of t is equal to zero because there is no overlap and this is for the case when t is less than two this is our first case now in case two so we're saying that again we have an x of tau which is starting at one and exponentially decaying this is our x of tau but in the meanwhile we have impulse response which is h of t minus tau which we have flipped and in the second case the terminal point that is t minus 1 this is actually no beyond 1 so that is it is moving in this direction that is in case 2 we are saying that this terminal point of the impulse response t minus 1 is greater than this point which is one so in this condition we would have an overlap and that overlap would depend on the value of t minus one where it is so hence y of t would start from the overlap starting point which cannot be beyond which cannot be less than one so this integration is going to start from 1 and it is going to terminate at t minus 1 until this point so the magnitude of this was 2 so we would have a 2 here and x of tau is simply e to the power minus tau d tau so this is our second case and then we can solve this calculus so we would have a minus 2 e to the power minus tau 
t minus 1 and 1 and this is actually minus 2 e to the power minus t minus 1 and minus 1 and of course you can simplify it further if you like but this is actually the closed form expression that we desire so therefore the convolution of this to x of t this signal and impulse response this signal is simply a k statement that is y of t and it is zero when t is less than two as per the first case and it is equal to two one minus e minus t minus one when t is greater than two